Stitch Cuties, I'm Brittany with Stitches of Love Quilting, and in this video tutorial, we're gonna make our raindrops in house, which is block four for our happy place block of the month, and we are using our embroidery machine in this tutorial. So as always, you will want to organize your applique pieces. I like to number the back of all of my pieces, and then I read through the pattern and I organize them by step, so I know that in order of appearance, I have them ready to go and I don't have to think and then the same thing for my thread colors. I organize that off to the side. So, and you can use your placement guide, of course, to help guide. This is the reverse applique piece. And then here's the full placement guide. You can use that to guide as you number and organize your pieces. And then let me just clip my instructions up. So the very first step your machine does is stitches the white T right in the center of your hoop. And so with our fabric, we're gonna take it folded in quarters. So fold it in half. Fold it in half again. Doesn't have to be perfect because remember we're going to trim it down. And then you just put it at the T and unfold just like this. And then I'm going to use, there's a string. I'm going to iron just a little bit in the center to get that little bit of a crease out. And then you can use tape or whatever you'd like to use. I like to use the sew tights. So I'm going to put my fabric in place. I don't know why I always do my bottom one first. And just make sure you do it off to the side so you don't do it where you're stitching. You know, like don't do it too far in because you don't want to try and stitch over your sew tight. So I just do right at the edge up here. Boop, and you can just wiggle it. There you go. So now that's held in place and I'm organized and ready to go. So with the white thread on our machine, we're gonna do the first step of applique outlines, which is our cloud, some of the raindrops, and then the little green land. Alrighty, so we have our very first round of applique outlines. I know it's hard to see my white, but you can see yours. That's all that matters. And so we are going to start by putting our little cloud in place. This is piece number one. And you're just going to position him right inside the lines. Make sure it's good and in position all around before you iron. Looking good. Yes. And just give it a little press. You can see it irons so fast. You only need a few seconds of the heat. Now we're gonna put the little ground in and I do need to take my sew tights off. I like to take them off right away because I don't like to have to feel like I'm dodging them with my iron, you know what I mean? And you'll notice the line doesn't go all the way off. This is gonna get caught in your seam allowance and to make sure everybody's hoop was gonna work, we don't stitch into that seam allowance on the width. So don't worry, you're gonna use the top left and bottom lines to line up this little piece of land, if you will. So it's going off into the seam allowance. There we go. And let me go on and take these sew tights off. You can leave them on, but to me, it's like, why bother? Get them off right away, you know, so I don't feel like I have to dodge them with my iron. And now we're gonna put our first little bit of our raindrops, right? And so they're all exactly the same, so truly it doesn't matter what you numbered them on this particular piece. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna see if I can be real cool and put several down at a time before I iron. You gotta get your paper off. There we go. And when you're doing a little piece, something like this Alex Anderson tool, if you need something to kind of push your piece into place. Sometimes I feel like when I'm doing this, I'm like, am I wiggling? Am I shaking? You know what I mean? I'm not really shaking, but like sometimes you kind of feel that in your hands. So if you do, just get a little tool. So I think you can be a little more steady sometimes with that. There we go. I must say having nails helps. When I don't have nails, I do find it harder, I must say a thing as they say it's a thing and then this little raindrop right there how cute are they we've had so much rain in Florida lately oh my gosh it's wild it's been a wild ride of weather already this season okay so now we have everything for that first step of applique outlines we have that ironed on so we're going to continue with the white thread for the second round of pieces to be outlined and ironed on Alrighty, so we have a few more raindrops, the house and the little chimney to iron on. So again, our little 
Raindrops are all the same size. You can put them in any order you want right here. So just get one in place. And now a second one in place. Don't forget, remove that backing. <laughs> if you don't remove that, it's not gonna stick. There you go. And now he looks a little crooked, doesn't he? There we go, I like that. And now, last little raindrop. Adorable. So, so cute. And then let me just press those. Now we're gonna put our chimney. And it does overlap on top of the cloud. And then the house overlaps on top of the grass as well. And so, remove the backing. I love how easy that backing comes off. It really makes me happy. Some brands you kind of have to like finagle it off, you know what I mean? But that one, it's Sulky Perfect Applique that we use. It's delightful. You know we love our friends at Sulky. So now we're just gonna iron our house on. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Perfect, and we have one more round of applique outlines of our roof, our heart, and our door. So let's continue with that white thread for the next step. Alrighty, so we have those next outlines. And so let's go on and put our pieces in place. So we have our fun checked roof. Get that right in place. There we go. That looks good. Perfect. And now our door, oh my gosh, so cute. I love this little print. I don't think it's directional. You can pick which way you want it to go. I'm gonna go this way because I feel like the little flowers are popping in. It's kind of a fun print, isn't it? It's not kind of, it is. So put our door right in place. And again, the bottom of your door lines right up with the bottom of your house. And then our last piece to iron on is our little green paparazzi dot of our heart. I think that might be called moss green. I don't remember what green that is. It's a fun green or army green. I don't know. I like it. So now for the next steps of 14 through 17, your machine is going to stitch everything perfectly for you. Um, you don't need to take your hoop on and off. I'm going to just for purposes of the video. So first up, we are going to change our thread from white to the 1292 Heron Blue and pieces 1 and then 3 through 10. So our cloud and then all of our raindrops will be stitched. Alrighty, take a look at all your blue that's stitched. So here's your cloud and all your raindrops. They look adorable. So now we're going to load the 1177 Avocado in the top of your grass right here, your little earth and or your land your earth, your land, <laughs> and then also your heart on your house will stitch with the avocado. Alrighty, you have a cute little heart and your cute little grass. So now we're going to load 1130 for just the one step of stitching the chimney. Take a look, your little chimney is all stitched. Now we're on our last thread color change and that is to 1833 pumpkin pie and your machine is going to stitch your roof, your house and your door. And yes, your machine says 1168, but just like the pattern says, do go on and use 1833. So let's complete this last step. Alrighty, your little raindrop house is all done. Let's take a look from top to bottom. Uh, doorbell. I just love it, I can't, it's so cute. Okay, so now, as always, you're going to remove it from your hoop. You're going to tear on all your stabilizer and then use this as a guide along with your cute cuts eight and a half inch ruler to get your block perfectly trimmed and then set it aside. And then I can't wait for the next month. I think next month for five. I think that's the tulip, the pretty flower. I'm not 100%, but it's going to be adorable. I can't wait. So I hope you're enjoying this block of the month every month. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and happy stitching.